You're all welcome here. Everyone, men, women, boys and girls, in all your diversity, all welcome to this safe, inclusive twilight space. We are here today to talk about the importance of art, heritage, culture in our society. It's my great pleasure as Mayor of Kilkenny to welcome each and every one of you here to our historic city. Today, the most important currency we have is people. Today is all is about how we ourselves as a community expand our outlook in life and welcome in so many different diverse communities into Kilkenny and into Ireland. We are lucky enough to have been enriched by you and your community. We have been lucky enough to find people who understand us and hopefully we understand you. And I have no doubt that the more we talk to each other, the more we engage with each other, the more we understand each other, the stronger our community will be and the stronger both Kilkenny and Ireland will be. So I want to welcome you. I want to officially open your conference and I wish you a very successful gathering here today. Goramil Mahta. It's a gathering, uh, a United Nations of some sort, so it's, it's an amazing gathering and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> Being politically correct, it's actually uh, a growth uh, of people uh, and we need to understand each other, we need to include each other, respect each other and with that we can also solve problems when occur between each other. So that's, and of course also a lot of goodwill, it's always needed. So. in Ireland. Uh, inclusion probably was one of the most essential parts for us and it really helps us to feel happy, it really helps us to understand Irish society and it helps us to self-develop too. So, well done, thank you. are the nomadic people of Ireland so our culture goes back hundreds and hundreds of years unfortunately as time progresses we seem to be losing more more and more parts of our culture um, I think it's very important that we get to showcase our culture and try as Karen as more young members of the community is becoming of adult age and stuff that they try to keep some of their culture alive and um, the inclusion part of it is really really important for far too long Travellers are being excluded from mainstream society and uh, different, I suppose, services and agendas and all that that's there. So as far as inclusion goes, it's really, really important that we get included. Travellers are included in everything that's available through the mainstream society and through the services and everything that's available for travellers. Every day is a learning day, so like I'll definitely learn something from a different culture and I'll definitely be going back to tell my nieces and nephews, like, oh look this, um, and even just to say, I suppose, my poems, one of my poems I'll be reading today is Pavi Lachin, which in uh, can translation from Cantish Traveller Girl, so at least I'll hopefully be sharing some of our culture with people through my poetry as well. I didn't expect that it, it was going to be such a great event like this and uh, I'm sure this one has given me a kind of lesson. I've learned something great. I will go back to my community, talk about it, inshallah next time. <laughs> <laughs>
when there is another event like this, you will see what we are going to display will be fantastic and greater than the one we have done today. We have to have a society that welcomes men, women, boys and girls in all their diversity. And if something you find that you mightn't like, you mightn't agree with, you can't close your eyes. You've got to look, listen and learn. Okay, because otherwise we will come inward looking on ourselves and we will never get to what we need right across the world, not just in Europe, but we need a total socially inclusive society. And it's a proven fact, you know, that if different diversities and different groups of people come together and make an agreement and work together, you will get twice as much done in half the time. Imagine how good that would be for everything. We acknowledge education, the sciences, medicine, astronomy, chemistry, all those hard sciences that makes us confident that we can run our world, run our countries. But we mustn't forget the arts and humanities, the creative writing, the history, the sport, the literature. This is what makes us human. This is what makes us beings that can decide for ourselves, that are good for our families, our friends, our colleagues, our countries. Arts and humanities together with the sciences makes us complete. The great Irish writer George Bernard Shaw once said, many people see things as they are and ask why. I dream things that never were and ask why not. Today, I hope after this conference and these few days together, we will all dream dreams that, and ask why not. We will lift our spirits, lift our hopes, and lift humanity.